But one thing to note is I had this and it was like floating off the ground. So my renders were uh, looking like that. So. Oh, and also look at this. You see how this light is coming this way? That means we need the light to be coming, basically doing the same thing. So it needs to be about like right here. because so we want that same effect. So right over that green light. So let's do it. Let's find the area light. Oh, this way, this perspective. You know what I'll do with this? I'll take the rotates out just so I can see it a little bit better. Go here, panels, render cam. Push this this way. This over here. Because remember, I want to see it about right where this thing is. And then I'll angle it so that it's like looking straight at us. And then also down. Might as well raise it up. You know, see the shadows coming through, right? The only thing that can make this a little bit better is if I angle it. So it's all about the way the angle hits it. So if I bring it down, well, I guess let's see interactively, right? Let's put it to about 20. Well, actually, I can do this and keep this about the same size and just hit this. And this will change the angle of that shadow. So if I go like this and I put it down. Okay, so do that and then probably go get some of these. Create lights just for the street lights. This ambient light, just because it creates this this little light right here. And we'll go in, we'll go to uh oh, this might not have it. Maybe point light, yeah. Point light, my bad. So I just change the type right here and probably get something warmer. And for these, I'll just do this. Remember, just to create more accurate reflections. And let me press four to see through here. The only reason I wanna see through is I wanna do this. Put it right here, then do a control D. Put one right here. So I got both of these, control D, control D. All right, so we have all these point lights. 
Let's look through selected. Oh, the background image ain't showing up. Let's just do this in the meantime. Go to exposure, do 20. And then let's just knock it down, 10. Okay, so the whole goal here is to try to get this blue on the top and then like a few street lights. If you really want to be fancy, maybe change one of them to like red or something or just crank this up more just to give a little bit more variance. Even though these are these lights over here, but maybe it could be like a, a red light or another car light. And speaking of that, I'm gonna do one last one and end this out. So we do Arnold lights, let's do an area light. And then let's say I do have something like that, like a car light. So let's go like this. Maybe, maybe like this. And I'll actually change it to a red, red. Just so I can give it like just a little tiny splash of red right here. So just so you all can see it, I'll click right here. And then I'll turn it off while I'll hide it or something. H. Do another one. Do another one. So, so you can see that little like splash of red. And little things like that make all the difference because that's like real life stuff that maybe you possibly don't really notice. But I didn't notice any of this until I started doing 3D. And now I walk around and I'm like, oh, wow, that's real cool. You know, the lights bouncing off of this or that or, you know. So now it's six. Let's see what happens. Tickets to nine. Now it's really looking like something passed by. So nothing. Well, no, no, nothing, slight red, and big red. And that red will bounce off and roll on to other little places. There's something like that. And then just because I feel like I have to do it now. Control D. Now move this over here. Like this, just a little bit. And this one I'll make green.
So it's a slight color difference. It's a little bit hard to see. I mean, it's subtle, that's what you say. But it's there. A little addition of green. Maybe like orange. But whatever these like little like tiny changes in the color will will change your image. So yeah, like I said, it's there. But yeah, you can see how all these little lighting adjustments alter the look of this whole thing. Yeah, and then I can go into other shaders, but I'm not going to do that for this.